This is The Daily Fill, episode number 81, brought to you by DrummersILike.net. What is up, drummers? Welcome back to another fresh episode of The Daily Fill, the Tuesday edition with me, your host, Richard Ducat. Man, what a week it has been. We launched episode 65 of the podcast on Friday. That was pretty cool. That was with uh, Joe Lionetti of Lakeshore, also the original drummer for Emure. Kevin and I had a blast on that show, man. He's such a phenomenal player. He's such a phenomenal mind. He's just so honed. Like, I kept saying it, and he's like a veteran OG of this, like, hardcore metal industry. You know what I mean? He was, like, an originator. And I remember being, like, 14 or 15 at an Amir show, seeing him play. And, like, looking on stage, and everyone in the band had this, like, I'd say this gangster OG look to them. Like, this rap hardcore. I can't explain it. And he was, like, in a tank top with shorts. Like, gym shorts. And, you know, like a... He just looked a typical suburbia kid. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean it in like the, you know, he was just, it just, you know, getting to know him now, he's just very much him. You know what I mean? He's not doing it for the fat. He's definitely plays, you know, for himself and for the love of music. But it was a good show. You can check that out. It's drummersalike.net forward slash podcast 65. Pretty cool too. And this Friday show is kind of up in the air right now. Um, It's going between two people that, Whoever's going to make the cut, I'm not sure, but I know for a fact on Thursday, we're tracking with uh, B. Rich Drums, Bianca Richardson. She's nasty behind the kit. She just did a big thing with NBC's The Voice. She's played at the Playboy Mansion. She's done all this crazy stuff that it's going to be really cool to talk to her. I've had a couple phone calls with her, and she is definitely next level business person, business drummer. She's got all her ducks in a row. going to be a lot of fun talking to her. got a lot to ask her. It's um, going to be cool, and... Damn, that was it. That was a that was a, a big weekend that we had though over for uh, for drummers I like. We put out a new segment for Pro with Scott stuff. We had that podcast come out. I spent like a ton of time redoing all our marketing and branding, which I'll talk a little bit about in today's episode, which is all about habits, good and bad. But I did that. I did like a bunch of facelift work as far as like navigation and pages. I finally put an about page on there. I finally put like all this information regarding the team on there. I, I got a lot of stuff on there. I, re- I-, I didn't rebuild it, but I just made it better. Um, finally having an official logo for the Daily Fill. You'll probably notice that on our Instagram feeds with official graphics for everybody so that we have some consistency with the look. Um, that is like anybody knows that's like my first thing is I'm, I am a graphic designer. That's what I went to college for. It's what like my soul and, and art. It's all there. And whenever I get a chance to really focus on our design, I have a lot of fun. So I did that, did a little facelift on that. And then I plan for the first time ever, I planned out like the next two months of marketing and social media for drummers I like, which is just something that I never do. Um, you know, with all the other stuff we've got going on, I'm more focused on like every little thing instead of like big picture ideas getting done sooner than later. So I, I spent a, you know, a whole weekend basically putting together a good 60 days, which now is going to save me a lot of time and effort and a lot of thinking. Um, you know, now that we have, but I think we're like 19 weeks out on the podcast booked, which is crazy. And um, it gives me a lot of time to think ahead about the shows that we're going to do and how we're going to do them and approach them and, you know, work with them and the guests. I can reach out to them a little bit earlier now and kind of, you know, get some ideas in their head, get some ideas in mine and talk. I figure out how we can make the show the best that it can be. So pretty freaking cool. Um which you know kind of segues me into the subject of today's shows which is habits but before i do that i don't want to forget to plug our sponsor predator percussion awesome mike martin's the man he's taught me so much about drums about music i talk about it all the time um he built me some drums and i love them i have a red oak 14 by 7 right now custom built it's an ash stain it looks sick it sounds sick it out it outplays my dw collectors steel over or chrome over steel tenfold i mean it's it's just insane how much bigger it sounds than this big drum that i love and always have advocated in the past great great drum he builds these things by hand they are custom built and if you want one of your own and you want a great entry level price him and i teamed up to do that just head over to rudiment.predatorpercussion.com you get hooked up. 
you will get hooked up. Um, obviously, you know, I do, I've spoken about it before. I do all the web work for Predator and I helped him put that together. We are working diligently on his website still. Um, you know, typically in the past, I'd pull a client in and be like, all right, let's just get your shit up right now. Let's get a website up. That's all we need. Facelift. Boom, 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 boom. But with what I've learned over the last few years and successful and unsuccessful, you know, website and client endeavors is that it has to be perfect. You have to get every element right. So that's what we're focusing on. It's going to be the best site ever. Um, we're still working on little tiny things, but when you see it, you're going to love it. But in the meantime, it's rudiment.predatorpercussion.com. Super stoked about that. So, you know, I've been talking about all this stuff we did. I'm talking about how I redesigned all our marketing materials, did some facelift stuff to the site. We're so booked ahead. We're doing all this stuff. Um, six months ago in February, right? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, seven months ago when I started kind of this like new path of, you know, um, self progression, if you call it. I did not think that I would have not mastered, but at least attained some of the you know principles and uh, patience and discipline that it requires to do a lot of the stuff that i'm doing right now with drummers i like um i was not writing journals every night i was not writing you know a to-do list of things that i'm going to do every day based on that day i did not plan out marketing i did not i barely plan out social media you know i'd plan it out the night before every night always doing everything the night before which i'm still a victim of i do the, a lot there's a lot of things that i still do last minute but there's a lot of stuff that i don't do last minute there's a lot of planning that i do there's a lot of new habits that i had formed you know i spoke about it a couple weeks ago was getting up at 5 a.m the morning routine drinking water like getting into this hydration method that now i don't have to think about it I just do it. It happens every day. I just walk the dog. I just listen to these podcasts. I just do all these things. Well, now I'm starting to do all these things with drummers I like and with my clients that I didn't habitually do before that I built these habits out of that started with the getting up early. It started with the focusing on the habits that matter now. Um, so specifically, you know, I've been wanting to do a remarket for drummers I like for ages. Hell, I'm not even done yet. I want to redo the logo. Anyone listening that does logos, that's like one of my weak points with drumming or with lo with design is that I'm just not a hand drawler. And I feel like there's so many of the same drumming organizational logos that I'm just, that's why I haven't done anything with the anything. I'm just keeping the tight face with what it is and keeping the snare drum. I think it's a Yamaha that I kind of like modeled. But if you are a designer and you got a better idea, hit me up. But that's, you know, one of the reasons I've kept that the way it is. But I finally, you know, got the guts up, did a design for the daily fill, kind of created this different look. And, you know, before I did that, I had to like kind of go look around at other designs. I had to spend some time seeing what other disciplined musicians or disciplined organizations. like pod I didn't just look at drums and music stuff. You know what I mean? Look at all the other podcasts that I'm inspired. And I kind of developed a template to go off of what I think looks best. I did an audit on everybody, which took me time to spend to research, which I had to put that time together. I had to be, you know, I had to like change up my weekend to do this and I'm never able to do it. And granted, my son's not feeling that good. So he's sleeping a little bit more. The sleeping pattern is a little bit different. So it's allowing me some more free time. But rather than taking that free time to watch another episode of Game of Thrones, which man, I can't believe they killed one. Of, uh, ugh, I don't want to spoil it. Someone's going to hate me if I say it. I almost said it, but they're, man, they're killing Game of Thrones rules. But what a great show. You know, I mean, I just finished the season finale and, you know, it makes me mad. But I have allocated time for that, too. It's wife and wife and wife and husband time. We watch Game of Thrones together. But, you know, because of this extra time, instead of like sleeping in or spending more time to get more sleep, I stayed up a little bit longer and, you know, allocated more time to focus on how I'm going to attack the remarket. What are my graphics going to look like? You know what I mean? And once I found a look, instead of like going through the same process with every show and every little thing, I applied that template mentality and that habit of using templates with everything that I do digitally, you know, playing out on how I'm planning marketing really sped up my process. So one of the best habits that I think you can obtain is really working on templating things, you know, blueprinting plans, blueprinting the things that you do so that, you know, you're able to kind of like achieve and, you know, start something like the best way to say it is that, you know, you can kind of turn the engine on and drive and not think so much about the path and just create and do whenever you have templates in place. And if they're successful, you keep using them. The only ad advice that I have is that you always take time to review those templates. You always take time to review those things that you're working on so that they stay fresh, so that they continue to perform in the ways that you need them to do. So I use those same methods to focus my time to create this, all this new material for drummers I like. And 
I recreated Scott's graphics, my graphics, Kevin's, the Morning Fuel stuff, um, the podcast stuff. I redesigned how they look on the website, how they lay out. I redesigned the homepage for drummers I like with everything, how it all lays out, the menu system, the navigation, and the header. I re would it. I tuned up a ton of stuff. I just like went in, and I did it in kind of a short amount of time because – I wrote it all up beforehand, what I was going to do, which is something I never used to do in the past until I started getting really heavy with the web work was just really planning out piece for piece what I'm going to do. And now with this like new method of journaling, a new method of creating habits and focusing myself and putting myself in those four sections of work, I'm getting more done than ever. Granted, not perfect. I still go over. I'm a little bit over right now on my time for the day and for these podcast recordings, but you know, um, they're getting done and getting started relatively right on time every day. And it's freeing me up to do a little bit more with the family, to spend more time focusing on the fun stuff and, you know, enjoying some, uh, some quality life. So those habits really play on. And, you know, I gave some tips a couple weeks ago, but remember, here's a couple tips. Just start journaling, you know, write down your feelings, your thoughts, write a morning routine out right before bed every night, write a night routine out that you're going to do every night before bed when you do when you wake up incorporate the water start thinking about your diet your health you know um people will complain and say they can't get up at five in the morning but if you change your sleeping habits if you change what you're eating what you're doing before bed and just try it a couple times i'm telling you i did it in like 20 days three weeks about three weeks or so and now if i wake up at six i'm generally pretty pissed off that i slept in a lot of people are probably like what's for six it's so early no it's not it's not sleeping sleeping in you know just wasting time you know make more time at night sleep at night sleep less in the morning get ahead of everybody else that's my mentality you should be ahead 10 10, 10x ahead of everybody especially me in california where you know a lot of my listeners and a lot of people on the east coast i've got to be posting at 5 a.m if i want my early risers and my workers to my homeboys and homegirls that are going to work to hear the show to see the podcasts to see the graphics to see the social stuff to be informed so it's crucial it's crucial that you follow those Follow those key habits, put them in place, and always, always adjust. Always check on what you're doing. You know what I mean? Don't, I do it weekly. That's why I write that new morning, the morning ritual. I'm, I'm on day 82 right now of doing it with the with the actual fr- mastery journal from John Lee Dumas. But um, writing those morning routines every night and kind of changing them and doing things differently every day, what a lifesaver. Just like going to the gym, you got to change out those routines. You've got to change up everything that you do. And, uh, you got to do that in every faction of your life that's a consistent. If you're walking, change up the walking path because it's going to get boring and you're not going to want to do it as much. Um, if you're reading certain types of books, switch those books up. If you're like me, I get bored easily. You know, I cram up. There'll be days of the week where I'll, you'll see my stories if you follow me at Rich Ducat on Instagram. I'll post books on books on books. And then there'll be days that I post conspiracy theory podcasts and dumb stuff that I'm doing with my kids running around <laughs> goofing off. You know, it's not always the same stuff because when I did the same stuff I kind of felt like it got stale so I mix it up it's all the same content it's just distributed it's distributed differently look at that Scott just shot me a nice little message on slack I'm going to answer it live slack Scott Jackson said what's a good camera that would be a significant upgrade in the videos I make but isn't like a thousand dollars I'll answer you live Scott will tell me tell me if you actually listen to the show um, get a Canon get a rebel rebel t3i get a used one get a t4i any of those two cameras they shoot incredible video they get incredible sound and they'll blow away anything that you're doing with your current uh, phone that you have if it's not like a iPhone 8 edition which is gonna be out soon I don't know if anyone saw those renders going around of the new iPhone it is dope I definitely will be picking that bad boy up or bad girl whatever I don't care whatever you think <laughs> But that's, uh, that's kind of it. Segue out of here from my chat on habits. Remember, if you're not keeping a journal, start one. If you're interested in learning about how to journal, hit me up, DM me, leave a comment below. Let's talk about it. Um, I want to hear about your habits too. Leave us a No one ever comments on these freaking posts. Leave us a comment below. I want to know the number one habit. The same question I ask on the Friday podcast, so I want to know your answer. Um, what's the habit that contributes to your success? You know, is there something you do every day that allows you to you know, be successful in a way that you believe could be successful. That could be providing for your family. That could be picking someone up on time. That could be being there for your kid, being there for your wife, anything. I want to know. I want to know what you do to make sure that those habits are done successfully and, you know, for good reason. So leave a comment below. Do it, do it, do it. That's uh, rounding us out for today's show. 
Um, also, I gotta give away, I gotta give away a week of pro. What am I doing here? Let's do it. Um, let's, uh, let's pop in. I like doing this live. Let's pop up in this, up in this girl, up in Facebook. You go over to our Facebook page. We're gonna go to our community page. See, not our community page. What am I talking about here? Let's go. Let's see. Notifications. Don't leave the podcast yet. You might be a winner. Likes. So, this week's free month of pros going out to Nick Durant. Nick Durant, hit us up in the DM. We will let you know how to obtain that free week at Drummers I Like in Facebook or on Instagram or Twitter. However you find us, let us know what your email is. We'll send you a confirmation code and some instructions on how to do it. Also, if you've won in the past, there's a couple of you that never picked up your free pro. If you still want it, Richard at drummers I like at com. Let me know you won. Cause I can't go back like 20 podcasts and listen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just let me know if you won. I'll send you that free coupon code to get that free month. Let me know. And if you probably won a week and you never got that week, it'll be a month now. So just take advantage. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. What else do I have before I close this sucker out? <clears throat> By the way, I'm sick. Sorry about my voice today. I'm just kind of getting over this. Um, oh, yeah. Also, speaking of Facebook, check out our Facebook group. There's a link here in the show notes. It's easy to find. It's our community. It's private, but we do a lot of cool chats in there. Post links. I talk. Um, it's not that popping yet, but I'm trying to grow it so we can start talking more often. Also, check out check out iTunes and Android's versions of the podcast and leave us a review. It helps us get ranked. It helps people find the show easier, and it helps, you know, it helps the uh, – Drummers of all mankind. So do that. There's a link here in the bio for both. I think Stitcher's in there too. Also, we have a Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash drummers I like. No one signed up yet. So when you do, I'll start shouting out the people who sign up. I'll start doing the cool giveaways. You'll get, you can get stickers, shirts, all types of stuff just for contributing to the podcast. If you'd like, if not, it's all good. It's all good. And we are in week three of Pro. Um, check it out pro.drummersalike.net scott is laying it out with more lessons he's putting out so much content right now i don't even know what is free and what's not free but you can check it out at pro.drummersalike.net over 20 hours of drum lessons from pros instagram influencers social media marketing from myself and a ton more we got a lot planned too tj hartman's coming on next month to do an entire month on audio production and recording from home so all you drummers out there looking to learn more about picking up drum recording from your home this is going to be the month for you so be on the lookout for that i think that's it that's it my fellow drummers and drumettes we'll be back tomorrow with an episode of morning fuel with jc and myself back on thursday with kevin's drum rants and then back on friday with a fresh episode of the drummers i like podcast it's uh, at drummers i like on instagram facebook.com forward slash drummers i like you can find us on youtube you can listen to the show on youtube and yeah that's it follow me at rich ducat on instagram i'm posting new content drum videos etc etc or if you just want to connect with me and talk to me about the show let me know who you're interested to see on the show i'd love to know all right everybody enjoy your day see ya see ya see ya So you.